Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Mona Rahman, and I am one of the first generation of children of the Islamic Society of Kingston. When I was growing up in the 70s, we did not have a masjid. My father came to Queens in 1968 to do graduate work, and my mother followed in 1970. There was a handful of Muslim families that were living in Kingston at the time, and our activities actually centered around different places in Kingston, predominantly Queens University, because most of the community was were either students or professors at Queens University. We had iftar parties and prayers at Queens University. Juma prayer was always held at Queens University. Tarawih prayers were also held there. As the community grew from a mere handful of families to about 200 community members, it was very clear that we needed a place that was our own, not something that we would borrow on certain days every uh, of the week or at certain times of the year, but we really needed a central masjid for the entire community. When it was being constructed, when it was being established, the entire community was involved, whether it was fundraising or as it was being built, they took turns helping to paint, putting the carpet in, things like that. So the entire community was really involved. One thing that I remember is um, brother Ibrahim Stokes and sister Hakima Stokes. Allah yarhamhum. They have passed on, but they were very integral to our community. Both of this, the uncle Ibrahim and auntie Hakima, converted to Islam many decades ago, probably before I was born. But in their retirement, they spent a lot of time helping to establish the Islamic Center of Kingston. Ibrahim uncle taught us astronomy. He taught us how to look at the stars. But one of the things he was very good at was being good with his hands in carpentry. So he built the Quran tables that we have, that the students now have their lessons on within the Musalla to read Quran from. And this is his legacy, I would say, in terms of the things that he has left behind, because he is no longer with us. May Allah reward him for his efforts. One of the sad things I found in terms of the community having grown is that in order to sufficiently, um, in order to accommodate the number of people that are praying at the masjid, particularly with respect to the sisters, we actually had to get rid of our playroom. The one thing that our community was very, very adamant in having for the children and the youth had to be replaced in order to accommodate more sisters in the prayer area. Both very important things. However, in doing that, our children and youth have lost that space that was theirs, that space where they could have activities, they could do things in parallel to things, other things that were going on in the mosque, but a place to basically chill out. And that is not what our parents envisioned. This was to be a masjid for everybody, a place for everybody. We now have Islamic school, but our classrooms are scattered throughout the mosque, separated by dividers so that sound can go back and forth. And we can't have all of our students there at the same time because we just don't have the space. We have vibrant children's and youth programs with the Muslim Children's Circle with ISK Youth and the Strive program and it would be lovely to be able to have these activities that they're planning more often to have them on a weekly basis or even more than once a week. When our parents had the thought of establishing a masjid in Kingston they weren't thinking just for themselves they were thinking for the future. Now, as we are now 26 years after the establishment of the mosque, we also need to think of the future, not necessarily to, to think of what we need right now, which unfortunately this masjid is not fulfilling because we have outgrown it, but in our design and in, as we are looking forward, we need to look forward to the next generations and try to make something 
that will continue after we have gone and serve the Muslim community even after we have gone. Mm -hmm.